I am really proud to be part of the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing. It has been a school that has been dedicated to diversity, equity, and inclusion. People talk about the hard sciences as being, you know, chemistry and physics and these things. I would argue that what is a hard science is understanding people and human interaction. And so this work is hard, it's complicated, it's ongoing. There's never an end point to it. We really do want to build those relationships with communities, but that takes everybody and it takes time. We've just been very, very fortunate that we've had a, uh, a start on this with people very focused who built their careers, who have wide experience. This means making sure that there is a clear mission, vision statement for the school and that we're living up to that. Clearly we have to continue the grassroots collective thoughts about diversity and inclusion. And part of that, I think, is going through a process of actual diversity and inclusion strategic planning. I can't caution schools enough about how important it is to make sure that this is a collective process, that this is something that is happening from all of the members of the school. It's really important for schools of nursing to have both a strategic plan and an action plan. The strategic plan is the what, and it clearly articulates the things that we want to accomplish in terms of DEI. We need to think very strategically about where we want to spend our time and efforts. And that does talk about tactics and investment, both in time and money. And I would recommend that within the action plan, there are short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals, and that there are metrics that will measure whether you've made those goals or not. Every other year, we bring multiple cohorts of nursing students together for poverty simulation. And so this is an opportunity for them to step in the shoes of people that live with poverty and, and experience what it's like to make really difficult decisions. Another thing that has been wildly popular is that we have a faculty member by the name of Dr. Jan Marie Garcia. She gets students, faculty, staff, uh, administrators and leaders on a bus tour where they literally drive from our school down the Central Valley and stop in the communities and talk with community members about you know the strengths of their communities but also the challenges of their communities. And my hope is that over time uh, that we will clearly begin to demonstrate that we have become more inclusive, that everybody has a chance to achieve their aspirations and do well in the careers that they want and more importantly that this nation needs.